says, Max and Margaret. She said, oh, no, 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 no. She says, uh, my daughter Margaret signed that. <laughs> She's here. She goes, I go by Peg. She goes by Margaret. I didn't sign that. You remember that? Yes, I do. So anyway, uh, there's been a lot of folks who've been helpful, and I sound like I'm getting sentimental. It, it is because, because I'm getting sentimental, because I do feel like I'm coming to the end of the line on the political run. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I felt it was right for a change and get the heck out of the legislature, despite how comfortable I might be up there. So thank you all for coming. I think there's some uh, great things ahead for Weymouth. Um, the Southfield thing seems real. These guys seem real. Uh, I think the councilors concur with that. We saw some projections this week. Their team that they put together over there seems solid. Um, the timing is right. And I hope I can get your streets plowed this winter, and I hope we can get some roads fixed. Otherwise, I know I'm going to be hearing from Marie and others if we don't do it. So, listen, plenty of food. Eat some more food. Jim Melody's going to do a couple more ditties. I'm hoping he does a couple of his originals. He can do more carpenters as far as I'm concerned. I might even sing along if he does Top of the World. Um, and then, and then we'll work on him this year. Maybe by January we'll have him play at my swearing in or whatever we, you know, whatever ceremony. But he's got to do some scorpions and some, and some Iron Maiden. Thank you. I, I, I'll do a couple more. Hey. How about Bob Hedlund, ladies and gentlemen? I don't want to say Bob's getting confident. You may have noticed that Bob's right.